Hey everybody, good Saturday morning. Chief Meteorologist Brad Panovich here, taking a look at the rain chance today, which we do have, but as I mentioned all week, there's going to be plenty of dry periods between the rain. So if you want to get outside today, mow the lawn, do some other things early in the day, you're going to have a chance because this is a look at our current radar and satellite. A couple things you notice, big cluster of showers and storms down to our south um, in the Gulf Coast area, up into parts of, uh, now moving into central parts of South Carolina, the Midlands, and also some showers and storms to the north. But what's going on in between is we've got some nice breaks going on. So if you're in this area, you're going to see sunshine breaking out, some, um, some clouds from time to time, but dry for several hours. What we're going to be watching are the chance of storms along this boundary as it sags to the south. This down to the south, probably not going to do a whole lot as it tries to move to the north. But we will see showers and storms develop this afternoon. It's just really a matter of time as we get into heating of the day. All right, and a couple things to keep in mind too, that these storms to the south are kind of important because depending on how strong this cluster gets, it could block some of the inflow of the deeper moisture. Not that it's going to deter all our rain, but it could make the rain a lot less heavy than it would be otherwise. So we'll get into some of the details here of, of what's going on this afternoon. I quickly want to show you just the severe weather outlook. Uh, we're kind of in a general low area, but it's probably the lowest of low. Um, I don't expect anything too strong or severe out there. Um, maybe one or two with some gusty winds, especially if we get enough sunshine. That would be our main concern going into the afternoon hour. So let's get right to the future cast and show you how things unfold this afternoon. So future cast kind of shows the layout here. We've got storms to the south, some storms to the north, and the ones to the south, probably not as big a concern as what's going to develop over us. So this is by about one o'clock. We start to see some scattered storms in the Raleigh area, Fayetteville, the mountains starting to see it. We'll get to about, <laughs> to me, three, four o'clock is when things get going. So you can see the scattered storms developing um, from the mountains to the foothills down into the Piedmont. Still a break possibly over Charlotte with storms to the south. So it'll be interesting to see you know where the storms build the most and it's going to depend on the cloud cover completely because if we see sun in here which i do think we will it could allow for storms to develop here and here but they're all generally going to be moving in this direction the, the question is how much of that gap gets filled in eventually will um especially the later we get this is by five o'clock this is by six o'clock this is by seven o'clock notice it, we're kind of seeing the line develop to the north more than the south so i think this is going to be our main threat for rain. It's going to be that boundary to the north right there, um, kind of setting up right in here. And this is going to start sagging south over time. So this is by about 8 o'clock, um, 9 o'clock, 10. You get into the overnight hours, you see some of the heavier downpours. So certainly some parts of the Carolinas are going to get clobbered a lot more than others, but many areas will be dry for a lot of the day. So it's one of those things where you got storms dancing around you throughout the afternoon, but you might get an extended period of dry weather. So as I mentioned, if you need to get a walk in, a game, um, mow the lawn, get some yard work, there's a chance you can get a round of golf in today probably before these storms hit. Just know after three o'clock, that's when the potential for scatter storms are going to develop. Cloud to ground lightning, our biggest issue, and flash flooding, probably our second issue, uh, more so than I think any severe risk because we've had so much rain lately, it will not take much. For there to be flooding we'll talk about sunday tomorrow there will be a couple isolated storms in the morning but just a heads up for the the, the nascar race up the at north wilkesboro the the uh, all-star race this low is going to be moving out overnight and i expect by tomorrow night we're going to have plenty of dry air so i think even if we wake up to rain sunday morning we should be good by race time on sunday night 